So before we proceed to the deck profile video, I'd like to make people aware, wh whoever is watching this, that I won't be able to make up-to-date content, deck profiles, card fight, since in National Capital Region, Philippines, where I lived, it will be in a kind of a lockdown scenario. The government calls it ECQ or Enhanced Community Quarantine. We're in stores like a card shop won't be open. There's no possibility to make a card for the video nor open packs. Deck profile wise, I've requested some of my friends to record deck profile videos of their decks. I have one friend that has a Zorga. I'll try to contact a friend that has a complete priest uh, uh, setup snow. Magnolia, I don't know anyone with a complete Magnolia, but I'll try to contact someone for a deck profile video of Magnolia. Hopefully, the booster to updated uh, deck profiles. So, we'll proceed with deck profile. This was recorded one or two months ago. Intro ka ba ba? Walang intro, intro, let's go! Ay na So yun, um, 1v starter. You need the drop, just the quick shield. This is good early game. One over trigger. If you check this, this becomes so much more of a threat late game. Then three draws. This is this is a deck similar to a GB8 loop, but it can also function without using the GB8 loop. So that's why I still need to run draws. Let's. Uh, Let me know. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's seven draws. This axe is an eighth draw because when you check it, it's still draw one. So that's eight draws essentially. Eight draws. Let's go. Let's <laughs> Four V heals. Why run crits or run? I don't have. I don't. I don't run the. I don't run the CC heal. The 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 Lindsay heal. I prefer this because this works better if you can G guard. Plus it's better than running five Ks. Yes, sir. And then four stride fodder crit because you don't really. You really want to stride as much as possible as often as you can, especially if this doesn't hit. So that's for the great zeros. Uh, great ones. Two acrobat birdie stride fodders. This still works with this, so that's still another way for you to stride. Two searchers. Just because you want to get rising nova off really quick. Four wonder boy. MVP. <laughs> This thing will cycle your deck and save you. This also pushes your GB8 loop to be much faster. So this fetches you pieces, this cycles your triggers, this cycles your grade 2s and your grade 3s. So essentially, you'll never really deck out. Essentially. And then... 4 Ambush Dexter. This is the combo piece that fixes this. If you have this in hand, you can call maybe up to 7th, 8th attacks. Just of this tribe and this with 5 counter blast. Really good card. Um, great twos. You run 2 lethal forward on hit free call plus charge. So this thing bot decks itself when it's called by an ability. So this plus this makes this an 11k attacker on force 2 and 21 on force 1. So if this does it, so if this does hit, that's another free call. If it doesn't hit, that's still another free call because of this. Really good. Um, four Bracky. No need to say much. Twenty K beat stick. Goes into soul filters deck. Really good. Three breach spurt. Anti sweeper. <laughs> Anti sweeper. This thing forces intercepts on anything that can intercept. So that means even sweeper. We'll get it, we'll still intercept. So this checks sweeper, anything with big intercepts. Plus, it if it doesn't hit, this still works. So that's another plus. And of course, the other MVP of the deck, Rona. Skill on place, CB1, search for a grade 3. And then cont skill 
in the same column, this gets boosted if there's a Grave Creek. So this becomes a booster on your early games, plus this gives you field. And this is really good field advantage early on if you want to play pressure. Grave threes. Um, I won't be running Jelly Beans, so two Bullet Liner. Perfect combo for this if you ride first Grave 3. 10k, this gets 10k if it has a force marker. So on a, essentially, if, the, if this is on two, if this is on a force marker, this gets plus 20. Force 1. On a force 2, this gets plus 10. Really big beat stick. Three, big, dud three Dudley Lucifers. Um, you don't really run him for the Vanguard ability. You just run him because he counter charges. But his Vanguard ability is also good if you don't really have a choice. So it's CB1. On swing, CB1. Put the rear guard into soul, draw one, and then if your opponent, and then call one, and then the called unit gets plus 10k if your opponent's vanguard is grade 3. Otherwise, no. And of course, the star of the deck. No need to say much. Force 1 and Force 2, plus this copies any of the rear guard grade 3 skills. So, really good. Really, really good. And then for the G zone, we run one villain verminous. If your opponent tries. The guard, you'll essentially reach GB8 on your next stride. Skip this skill, soul blast one. When an attack doesn't hit, you soul blast one. You draw one and then you call one. So this pulls off with everything else in the deck. This is so centric to the deck. Then the next stride is three violence ace. Gives draw engine. It's a draw engine. It also gives plus 10k to any unit on the field with the soul blast. It's CB1s. If your opponent does two to guard, and then you get to call one, which is really good. Then these four, these stride fodder, literally flexible. You will never use these. You will never use these ever. You will never use these ever, except maybe this. You really don't have a choice. This is a really okay option, but the rest, flip fodder. Don't even think about playing them, especially this because it's a CB2. Complex lang. Full complex specs ko. <laughs> this. Mm. Hellheart 8. If you reach GB8, you loop with this deck, you win. There's no stopping this. It, th this is how good this is. This works with everything in the deck. You don't even need jelly beans to make the deck go fast because this deck is fast enough as it is. G Guards, you run two of the unflip. This is good because if you fight something with a lot of board wipe like Kagero, uh, Narukami, anything that board wipes, this is your very big shield. Plus if you leave one rear guard, very, very good big shield. Plus turbo GB8. Then you run this. You will only use this for either a flip fodder or to protect the very important rear guard, which can be anyone from Rona, Ambush Dexter, any grade 3. This is the one. And Hecaton Gaze, because this recycles. You combine all of them work in conjunction with each other so you don't deck out. Plus you filter enough through the deck that it doesn't become a problem late game. The only time this deck has one This deck has a problem though with decks that can out hit it, but since you have a very strong first stride game, it gets really hard to beat later on. Especially if you can snowball into the damage. Especially if they don't know how to play around spikes. So this deck is really good. The over trigger has saved this. If it wasn't for the over trigger, this would be very low tier. That's it.